Hello and welcome to a new weekly vlog. I literally just, well I say premiered, I was intending to premiere, it was taking ages to upload and I accidentally just posted it rather than doing an, an immediate premiere. So I do apologise, uh, but you should have seen that video by now, so do go and check out last week's weekly vlog. Um, it is Monday, Monday evening, Matt is cooking, uh, we're having a low carb, well, it's a, it's a kind of low carb, isn't it? Yeah, um, Yeah, so I'll turn around and show you that in a moment. And we have, a, quite a, well, we have one really exciting thing coming up at the end of the week because we are attending a friend's wedding. Yay! Yay! So, very exciting. So, stay tuned. There we go. Matt is chopping. And I'll show you, well, we've got some spring rolls. So, these aren't low carb. Uh, they're definitely not low carb. Uh, but we do have some onions being fried and some peppers. So what are we having today? We are having a uh, chicken in a black bean sauce. Woohoo! Woo! Yummy, yummy! With the skinny rice. Okay, so this is the skinny rice. So what does it actually look like? Let's get up close. Uh, right. So it's in a plastic bag. Yes. And, and to drain um, it. Does it look like rice pot? Well, we can't really it see it. It does actually. Camera. Look at the top bit uh, there. Okay, so it does look a bit like rice. It does look like rice, but we've got to drain it. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we told people what we thought of the actual pasta last time. The first bite was a bit weird because I think we were too busy com like comparing yeah, it was a it to different pasta. texture, wasn't it? But yeah, then but it, it tastes like pasta. Yeah, and then it went okay, didn't it? Yeah. So we will test. It's like out a mushroom consistency. Yeah. Yes, it was like a mushroom consistency, like a a boiled or a fried mushroom consistency. By the way, our daffodils are still doing amazingly well. Just look at those on our gorgeous little yellow themed. Display. Then you rinse it in cold water. There we go. So it does. It looks like rice. It does. Yeah. Look. There you go. So Matt's just dished out the rice. I mean, it does look like rice, but you don't get a lot in the no. packet. And how much was that packet, and price wise? Oh, I can't remember. But the whole collection I bought was about twenty quid. Okay. So there is the. Five packs of pasta. There's the chicken, and of course we've got the spring rolls to come as well. What do they say? Remember, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. Whoever said that never ate a carb in their entire life. <laughs> carbs are love, carbs are life. So here it is without the spring rolls. And there it is with spring rolls. Yum, yum. Hi all, welcome to Tuesday. Uh, a little bit different today. Uh, my mother is coming round and we have decided to go to a local garden centre because there are some plants that I struggled to get last year in this garden centre now. They're only like small, I think, plug plants, but if I buy them now, I avoid not being able to find them later. So <laughs> my mom's coming and she might want a few bits and pieces too. Matt is in meetings most of this morning and the afternoon. So it's just me and my mother, which will be quite nice. Um, and she's coming in about 10 minutes. So I need to get myself all ready. So this is what we got from the garden centre. I couldn't really film in the garden centre because there was lots of people there, but also, uh, we were in a bit of a rush. So, <laughs> what did we end up getting? Well, I'm going to put them on the shelves and give them a good water in a moment. But we, I got three tumbling toms. They are for the hanging basket. I got, that's a tumbling tom as well. Um, let's have a look. Do you know what? I am going to show you all once they are in this little greenhouse here, which is inside of the big greenhouse. So, I'm going to put them in here because it's still very early in the season. Uh, by the way, I also got some sweet peas as well. So I don't want them to catch any sort of last minute frost. It has been quite mild here in the UK this season. So I think that will be fine. But I do need to water them. I need to get them in here. I need to get this constructed back together because it all got dismantled in the wind um, in, over, over the winter period. And I had to rush it in here really quickly and... Uh, I just left it how it was, so I need to put this back together. There we go, so I've moved that in the corner, it's all put together. Um, obviously, I need to clean in here properly. I want to get everything out, give it a really good swill down, sweep up, clean the glass. I, I, it needs a really good going over, but just temporarily for tonight, this will do. So I've moved that in the corner, so it'll give me a lot more space once I've tidied up. Right, so here are my three tumbling tom. And I've got three different varieties here. We have Gardener's Delight. I've used that one before. Uh, we have, what's this one? Uh, Outdoor Girl, it's a heritage. I've never used that one before. 
and this one is a really good water. I've got some uh, Elisa Craig. So this is how they look inside. All I've got to do, I put these little, these little trays in, all I need to do is water from the roots really. So uh, they will suck up from, from the roots, from the plant pots that they are in. So there we go. Um, and then of course we have the sweet peas down here. So all in all, I think that is really good. Now, I did forget to show you that I picked up some more seeds. So we have some Larkspur, Thompson and Morgan seeds. These are really, really, really pretty. And I finally, finally found some, some Sugar Rush wallflowers. I love wallflowers. They're one of my favorite flowers of all time. Sugar Rush is a different variety because they actually flower twice. They are bien biennials, uh, which means they sort of come every other year. But if I start some off this year and then start some next year, I should have some every year, uh, basically. Uh, so I can sow them pretty soon in May or June to get the first lot of flowers, maybe September, October or November. Or maybe I might have to wait until next May. Who knows, but they are gorgeous. And they, this just, the scent, the aroma is just incredible. I tidied up a little bit more. Everything looks a little bit more neater. It just needs all cleaning up and sorting out properly. But the intention, like I said, is to grow a few more things from seed as well. Uh, start them off in the, in the little propagator, which of course can move in the summer when I've got all the grow bags or, or pots in here with... Um, those planted in. So yes, it's an evolving project. We shall see how we go. And what is this low carb food of which <laughs> this appears before us? Imaginary low carb food. Well, Matt's had a bad day today. I have, nothing seems to have gone right for me today. No, so we're temporarily back on the carbs. <laughs> so yay, the McDonald's. It's Wednesday afternoon and we are having a very meditative afternoon. The cats are really, really, really peaceful. I've just gone outside and fed the birds. I've just seen a robin on the feeders, but just look how meditative they are with the music on. Yes, my darling. If only you knew that there was just a robin on the, on the bird seed. There he is, he's on the fence, look. Can you see him? Um, so yeah, I put out another bird buffet. They seem to absolutely love it. Um, so I'm gonna keep on feeding them, of course. It's been a very productive day for me. I have got a royal video finished, uploaded. It's already up there. I've just edited a Virgin Voyages vlog. That's gonna be uploaded now. Ah, it's and I've, and I've done laundry. I've washed all the bed things. I've got towels on the go. I'm drying, washing. Ah. It's all go. So Matt is in the kitchen cooking. It's Wednesday and we're having a pasta bake. So mm. this is the skinny pasta. But it's the high protein pasta. Yeah. So one thing we didn't know until I've already used it is that it's actually more calories than normal pasta. Is it? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. By about 100 calories per portion. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. So we're not get skinny on that. Yeah. But it's half the amount of carbs and it's 30 grams of protein. Okay, so it's high protein, yeah. uh, but we are going to add some naughty cheese to it because that's just yummy. You can't have a pasta bake without cheese no. in, can you? No. Oh. There it is, out of the oven, and Matt is right. Really, those sorts of bakes, you should leave them um, about 10 minutes to cool down or else they're too hot to eat and you can't enjoy it. There we go, and the dinner is done. Lots of veg, and there is some a little bit of hard extra cheese going on. And we've saved some for lunch tomorrow. So there we go. There is the finished result. I should also give you a little update on the grass. They are growing. Do you remember we planted them uh, and we now actually have grass. So the Rory and the Crocodile Bow now has their hair. I mean, just look at this. Bow did try and munch them earlier in the week. So we, we moved them, but they are growing really, really well. Welcome to Thursday, and I have just noticed that the tulip heads are coming out in the pots. Just look at these. It won't be long before we have some tulips. It's a grey kind of day, but it's actually quite warm. So, yeah, I'm, it's a good day for gardening, but we also need to clean the house, and I've got some other worky things to do. Oh, by the way, just look at those gorgeous daffodils in there. 
Right, let's head into the greenhouse and see how things are getting on. Um, so I did put a blanket over here and Rory has been using it. So he's glad to have his blanket back. Uh, let's have a look in the mini greenhouse. So they're doing well. Um, like I say, I filled the trays up with some water so they can suck them up from their roots, but they're looking really, really good. So I'm happy with those. The sweet peas are doing really well as well. And it's plenty more space in this mini greenhouse to get some seeds going. So what I want to do is to go through my seed collection and see what needs sowing. I've just come back from outside, hence the glasses being a bit dark. Um, it's been a cleaning morning today. I've cleaned the bathroom, Matt's done the dusting and um, mopped the floor. I vacuumed the floor. There's lots going on. I've also done lots of laundry. It's just a domestic sort of day. Anyway, we have the wedding coming up on Saturday. Again, not our wedding. We are attending a wedding, but the groom is staying with us tomorrow night. And then we're all going to the wedding. So I have two white shirts that need a little bit of attention. So I'm going to tackle those now. Um, so what I asked Matt to get from the shops when he went to the gym was some Vanish. Now this, I don't know if you get this wherever you are, but it comes in a pink tub or a white tub. I've never used the white tub before. So we're going to give it a go. The Both shirts have got like, a, you know how shirts go, a little bit yellow around the collars and that kind of thing. So I want to treat them and then wash them and then get them ironed ready for Saturday. just to pre-treat and then what you can do if you have any particular areas such as collars or cuffs that need a bit of a, a bit of a do what you can do is make a paste so you can put maybe like a quarter of a scoop or something of that nature and then mix it together with some water a little bit of water and then make a paste and then rub it on and leave it for about five minutes what i've decided to do that i've always found is a really good way is to pre-soak so i normally leave this for about half an hour really really hot water as hot as you can get it um, and then just kind of submerge the thing that you want to treat, add in the uh, vanish, and then just give it a bit of a stir, agitate it a little bit. And then, I mean, it's, it's kind of like the old fashioned when they used to boil the whites, you know, in the coppers and that kind of thing. So just give it a poke, agitate it, and then all should be good. Just put one more scoop inside the drum. So let's put it on again. There we go, let's put it on. Cottons, we're definitely gonna go for 60. Let's reduce that and then go. Oh, look at this. He is literally using the cushion. You like paint me like one of your French girls from the Titanic scene. Rory, you are a big himbo. Yes, yes you are indeed, but you're gorgeous. You are so gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> oh, you, you, you don't worry about his tummy. He overlicks his tummy. It's one of the only areas he can reach. Anyway, here's Bo. Hello, Bo. Hello, gorgeous. Matt is back from the gym and I am cooking dinner. So I've got two potatoes in the air fryer and I'm doing some microwave vegetables in there. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Friday. I had to think then for a moment. So just going in the greenhouse. Rory is absolutely loving his new blanket. Just look at this. Isn't that sweet? He's so gorgeous. Um, and the tomatoes are doing really, really well, as are the sweet peas, which I actually think I'm going to have to start pinching out very, very soon. Anyway, today we are getting ready and we will be going. It's been raining a bit as well, so it's not been the best of weather this morning. We had a big shower earlier. Anyway, daffodils still doing really well. We're off out. We're going to that quaint little old um, town that we normally go to. Uh, and we're gonna meet friends for pre-wedding drinks and evening meal. There we go, just 
going into the harvester. Okay, so we are just ordering some drinks. We're here for a couple of hours, but I think I'm just gonna have a coffee. So here's my coffee. I just said, I don't care what coffee it is, just as long as it's in a big glass. We have just uh, had a few drinks and now we are heading to um, where we are going to have our evening meal. parking and we are going to be heading off over that bridge of where so this is where we are heading for dinner it's called the boathouse and we'll be sat inside over there you can also eat outside as well Okay, we are seated and I am really confused. I don't know what to have from the menu. There it is on this side as well. And there is, of course, a specials. Anyway, I have had uh, an elderflower sparkle, gently sparkling um, lemonade. So there we go. I know what I'm having. I'm having the pan-fried salmon fillet. Here are, it's my starter yeah, spring roll. I didn't mention that I was having um, spring roll, but here they are, and Matt's had exactly the Here is Matt's burger, which ooh, looks gorgeous. Matt's fries a truffle aioli. Here is my pan fried salmon. <laughs> yum yum. Like Matt had well. a cookie dough. Hi everyone, it is the morning of the wedding. Hi. <laughs> There's Andy the groom. <laughs> and you know Matt, and you know me. So there we go. Look at look at our outfits, aren't we swanky? We're waiting for the taxi, so we'll soon be off. Here we are. We have arrived. Welcome to the wedding of Rebecca and Andrew. Sultana scones, you went to form scones, and we have chocolate brownies. Wow. And you can eat the pops. No, wow. you can't. You finish it off, you have egg mayonnaise and caviar. Woo! Yeah. Yep. Wow, just look at this eat a mess. Oh, and there's a brownie. Have a sparkler. his crocodile grass. Look at this. Look at him chomping his crocodile grass. Um, nom, 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 And Rory is watching the squirrel on the nuts. Hi everyone, it is the evening after the wedding and I'll tell you all about the wedding tomorrow. You've seen the little clips. But we are... 
We've had a day. <laughs> a re- recovery. We have been recovering. So, Matt's ordered a Chinese. So, yes, we are having a Chinese tonight. Matt's ordered. We agreed to this this morning. We did agree. Um, and we're just going to go and eat now. I will tell you all about everything that happened at the wedding tomorrow. There we go. So, I have had a prawn in black bean sauce. We've got some spring rolls. There's a rice and the chips we shared. And Matt has had... Crispy shredded beef in Cantonese sauce. There you go. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and I've just been woken up very rudely by Bo. He's been screaming. He wanted me up so that I could come out with him in the garden. <laughs> Matt's been up. Um, for some reason, he, he always decides who he wants to, to come up with him and go outside. Anyway, I've got my coffee, so I'm trying to wake up. Uh, but it's actually a really, really, really nice day today. And today would be a good day for doing the garden things. But I've also got other work-related things I need to do. I've got emails I need to answer that I've sort of, uh, well, put off answering for a while. Um, I also obviously need to make some videos. So, for the Royal Reviewer channel. Um, yeah. So, I need to... I just think I've just heard Rory on the fence. Where is he? He's over here. There you are. Hello, I can definitely see a Rory. He's very dainty on the fence, actually. You'd think he'd be a bit wibbly wobbly, but he's not. Very, very, very steady, aren't you? My little sweet pea. Very dainty. And then he'll jump down the side, uh, depending on which side he wants to f- jump down on. Come on, very majestic. Um, So I'm going to have my cup of coffee and then I am going to have a shower and start doing some things. I might come in the garden first, I'm not entirely sure, Um, but it would be a very good opportunity to cut the buddleia, to cut the grass at the back um, and maybe do a spot of weeding. Oh look, we've all, we've literally almost got the tulips out. I didn't realise over the past few days that they'd come to um, buds, if you like. So this tulip here is almost open. Wow. I think they're gonna look really spectacular this year. Buddleia is extremely hardy, so giving it a really good hard prune, almost right way back down to the stumps, is essential because, believe it or not, it will all regrow to pretty much the same size, if not bigger, over the summer. Time now to tackle the grass. Oh, by the way, I would normally use a big pair of loppers to uh, prune the buddleia, but mine have gone walkies, so I've had to use a pair of secateurs, but it wasn't terribly too hard, even with the thick branches. I'll do the same with this. I think I'm just going to pretty much scalp it across the bottom, and then there will be a whole load of new regrowth. Okay, so there we have it trimmed. Now, I don't know if I was supposed to go as far down as these. We'll see. To be honest, they're so hardy. If I have made a mistake, it won't even matter. Okay, so I thought I would do a little bit of a seed tour, if you like. I've got a whole load of seeds, some that I've had from previous Gardener's World magazines, and I want to go through them, organise them, show you what I've got, and then I'm going to use this little wire rack, which I've had for a long time. I normally keep it in the utility room, and this is where they've been living in the rack. But I want to put the ones that I need to do soon in the top and then organise the other ones in the bottom. So that's what we're going to do now, if you don't mind joining me. So I'm dropping all of them. They're all different size packets. Uh, like I say, I've had them from various places. Uh, some are a little bit more recent that I bought in the garden centre last week with my mum. Some of what I've had from Gardener's World magazine. 
Um, so yeah, anyway, Matt's playing computer games in the other room, so if you do hear any background noise, it is a computer game. Uh, right, let's start with, now I know these are some gorgeous sweet peas. Now I love sweet peas. I did buy um, a pack of ready grown sweet peas, but it doesn't hurt with these. Now these you can sow indoor January, February, March, so outdoors April or May. So I could just put those directly into the soil or I could start them off in the greenhouse. So I actually think this is an, an imminent thing. I'm probably going to start them off in the greenhouse. So let's pop them, let's pop them there. Um, these are my Warnemesias. They're a little bit similar looking to a wallflower, but they're not. Uh, again, I can sow them indoors from March or April. Do you know what? I think I might. I think I am because I can grow them and then just transplant them, can't I? Oh, some catnip. Now, the catnip I grew last year is actually coming back, but I could do another pot of catnip. So again, you can sow this any time, to be quite honest, but you can sow indoors in March or April. So that's one that I need to get on the go. Uh, Wallflower Sugar Rush, these are ones I bought very recently. So these are, uh, I can sow, I can, I can directly sow them in the ground or I can do them in pots. Um, in fact, I think it's advising you to sow them outdoors from March or April. No, May or June. Yes, I can sow them in May or June. So I'm going to put those at the bottom. Uh, these are Larkspur. They're very, very gorgeous, very cottage garden style plants. Um, so under glass or indoors now. So I've got a lot of plants to get going with. These were some memorial sunflower seeds that I had for Molly. Um, so it does say, scatter these sunflower seeds in remembrance of your dear friend and companion. So, but I'm not quite sure when. So I need to check those ones out. So I'm going to put those in the maybe check out uh, pile. Some veggies. We've got some, well, we've got some pak choy and some corn flour. There you go. Corn flour is the flour. Um, all right, when do I do these? So pak choy, I can sow outdoors February, March, April. So depending on what I'm going to do with them, uh, I could also do them in a pot. Um, and the other ones, the corn flowers, I can sow outdoors March, April, May. So again, these are ones that I need to take action with. We have some more beautiful, gorgeous flowers. These are um, Eschconslosia. Esch there you go, that's what it's called. Uh, Orange King, striking plant with silvery foliage, or there's a lime green Nicotiana, or Nicotiana. Um, these are so indoors, February, March, April. So yes, I can. And the same for the Eschronoloa, Orange King. Uh, I can sow outdoors in April or May. So I think I need to separate these, these up. I can. Ooh, are they not separating very well? Okay, I need to separate these out because I need to put the one in the one pile and the other in the other. Let's just, there we go. So which one was it? That one was the, to go on the bottom. This one I can sew outdoors. Now, okay, next we have lettuce and oregano. So I do want to start a herb tub. I have already got one. I just haven't, um, started opening to get some compost. So indoors January, February, or so outdoors in April or May. And the lettuce, I can sow outdoors March, April or May. So again, these are ones that I can take action with. Then we have some kale and some heavenly blue morning glory. <gasps> Aren't they gorgeous? Uh, so the morning glory heavenly blue, I can sow indoors March, April, and then the kale I can sow indoors as well in March, April, or sow outdoors. So again, these I need to do imminently. Um, cat grass, I had one of these last year. They absolutely loved it. It didn't overwinter, um, but they absolutely loved to chew them. So uh, again, this is pretty much I can sow 
all year round. So you can do that one. And some wildflower meadow scatter seeds. So again, I can scatter these. So outdoors, April to May. So there you go. Um, so I now need to separate this pile into uh, outdoors, indoors, uh, depending on what I'm going to do. And um, I need to get cracking with a little bit of planting. Here is Matt. Hi. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye, but I, I said we were going to speak about the wedding. Oh, it's amazing. <gasps> it was a really, really gorgeous yeah. day. So you've seen a little bit of footage from there. That was not all that I took uh, because I actually filmed the wedding video. Yay. Uh, which you won't get to see all of that because it's a private wedding. Yeah. Um, but hello, I can hear Bo meowing. Did you hear him? But it was a gorgeous day. Everyone looked fantastic. The food was good. The afternoon tea was amazing. Yes. It was so filling and lovely. I didn't even actually have room to finish all of it because no. it was so... I didn't so have much. my scone. I didn't have my brownie. Um, and to I be did honest, a speech. Matt did a speech. That went really well. Yeah. Uh, so the happily married couple are happily married. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of spurned us on to think about our own wedding. It has a little bit. Um, so people have been asking us, when are we going to get married? When are we going to get married? Uh, we still don't know, uh, but, but it has spurned us on to think a little bit more about yeah, it. And, and start planning properly. Start planning. So watch this space in terms of wedding. We may be going to see some wedding venues. Ooh. Woo! And of course, we'll take you along with us and you can tell us what you think about them. So anyway, the, this week, it's been a week. Yeah. Quiet in the middle and busy at the end. Yeah. Uh, and then next week, well, this week now, because it's Monday, what have we got planned this week? Work. Basically, yeah. It's a bit of a dull week. Work and things. But it should be a nice week weather-wise, so maybe you'll yeah. be able to do some more garden content. Yeah, hopefully be able to get out in the garden. Uh, you saw me cut a few bushes, uh, but I got a bit hot, so I came in, so I'll probably have to mow the lawn this week as well. Anyway, yeah. thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from us, to you all, and goodbye. Bye. Bye.